All right, budget high fires, cheap high fires, stereo garage sailors, and everybody else just as cheap as I am. Well, I'm gonna show you my bedroom setup now. Rocking my turntable, I have a 60s, late 60s, dual, 1009 record player. It's currently running the Shure MC97 Ecliptical Stylus, and I really like it. It's good. I'm having some problems with the idler eel, wheel, I'm going to have to get that replaced. There's the original cover. Right here I've got some uh, speakers that came with my $10 record player out in the living room. Some Lloyd Three Ways. Probably going to gut those out with time, but for low volume listening, they're, they're pretty subtle. Below those I've got a pair of really scratched up but useful Bozak 302s. Uh, I scratched the veneer off trying to fit them in my compact car about three years ago. I was so excited to bring them home. 40 bucks for the pair on that. And here I'm rocking an 80's Kenwood uh, KR720. It's a great little uh, receiver with the exception that it doesn't have a whole lot of inputs. And then uh, up here I have the Grace digital uh, internet radio which is nice. It picks up like 13,000 channels. My laptop set up to run FUBAR 2000. You can't really see it on the screen, I imagine. But uh, all my FLAC files and Apple lossless files uh, are streamed digitally through Wi-Fi. Then down here I'm rocking the Sony SPH uh, 101 CD player or PlayStation. I own two of those, both are refurbished. And not so budget is a Velodyne 500 watt 10 inch subwoofer. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I put some foam back here for acoustic properties since the speakers aren't really matched. And then I run them on both channels A and B. Uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of old vinyl sitting here. I'm waiting to get a new shelf, probably an IKEA shelf. I'm going to search Craigslist, see what I can find. Probably try to find a. Uh, six footer by four footer or eight footer by six footer. I've got another 150 records to go pick up, but this is what I'm rocking on vinyl at the moment. You know, some stuff old, some stuff new. And, uh, well, besides some of my headphone crap. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing. Back behind here is my digital analog converter that I use when I stream music digitally. I almost forgot about this beauty. This is my FIO D3 uh, digital analog converter. I'm using the SPDIF out so it's an optical out from the laptop and then this 24-bit 192 converter converts it to a stereo signal uh, into my analog tuner. And honestly uh, through Amazon I found it for 15 bucks and it was the best 15 bucks uh, I've ever spent on any stereo equipment. Um, my wife is not a, a music person or a stereophile or a, uh, a sound buff, but when it comes down to it, if I'm playing uh, music digitally, she can hear the depth and the dimension of the music that she never knows before. And that's speaking a lot for a $15 part. Um, I mean, you could probably spend hundreds more, but for 15 bucks, I couldn't have been happier. And uh, I think that about concludes my, my mess of a room and my budget high fine here and, you know, how I rock out with my uh, stuff out and, you know, uh, I hope to share it with you and if you have any good videos of your budget stuff, uh, post them too and send me a link and I'd like to check them out. Well, it's all about what you can find on the cheap on this economy, so let's do what we can do. Later.